the Alzheimer's Association is hosting the 20th annual Pythias and Virginia Jones African American Community Forum on Memory Loss. It's this Saturday at Morgan State University. And Marilyn Massey, Diversity and Inclusion Program Manager, joins us now with more on the event. First off, thank you so much for being with us. It is my pleasure to be here. So talk to us, Pythias, the Virginia uh, Jones uh, whole combination of things going on. What Tell us about it. Uh, well, let's just start with who they were yes. or who they are. Uh, Pythias A. and Virginia I. Jones, they're the parents of uh, our former state senator, Verna Jones Rod Rodwell, and her sister, Ernestine Jones Jolivet. Uh, both the parents actually died from dementia. Mm -hmm. uh, and during this time, the family, the Jones family, was just so committed to getting the information and the resources that they had previously gathered um, to actually give that out to the members of their community. And from that point forward, their reach was extended to the Alzheimer's Association Greater Maryland chapter. Okay. And we understand Maryland actually has pretty high rates of dementia relative to the rest of the country. Yes, yes. And with that, um, they are just, Last year at our um, AAIC conference, that information was uh, gathered, and Baltimore City has a 16.6% uh, high prevalence, that high prevalence rate. It's number one in the country. Wow. In Baltimore City? Baltimore City, 16.6%. Wow. And in order for us to help and to move the different uh, risk factors uh, with that high prevalence. We'll also be sharing the uh, 10 warning signs uh, with about Alzheimer's disease, as well as uh, we want to empower uh, the residents of Maryland or anyone for that matter at this conference uh, to help them to take preventive steps to uh, take care of themselves to get their health in order as well. So even with that, um, you talked about pre preventative measures. What are some of the warning signs? Some of the warning signs, well, basically there are 10. Uh, just the first one is just your everyday uh, things that you do, uh, anything that you do daily. Uh, let's just say you're used to driving to the market down the street. You can forget how to do okay. that. Uh, so there are different things, uh, the 10 warning signs, that is something definitely that we want uh, if, you know, people to know about. Okay. And why was it so important for you to create this space for the black community to come and talk about these sorts of prevalent issues? Great question, great question. Uh, we know that African Americans are impacted by dementia at twice the rate as white people. Uh, therefore, we want to get that information in their hands about the 10 uh, warning signs that can help them uh, to move forward in their own health and know about it. Okay, so for more information, I mean, we're running short on time. We could talk about this forever. We could go through we all 10 of the signs. Yes, but can. you have this event with Morgan. You talked about the 10 signs. Tell folks how they can find out more information about all of it. All you will need to do is reach out to our 24 7 helpline number. That number is 800 272 3900. And you have a, a website also there? They can go to a www.alz.org slash Maryland to get the information as well to ALZ. register. Thank ALZ. you so much, Maryland. This is so important. So we appreciate you coming in and talking to us about this. Thank you so very much for having the Alzheimer's Association.